Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we are back on the second dev server for update Danger Zone, and it's time to have a look at a new little Italian vehicle. This is the L640, uh, the Caro Armato Modello L631 Regimento Caristi, and uh, this is uh, a new premium vehicle. It's uh, basically a copy and paste of another vehicle that we've had in the game, uh, which is the L640. And the reason why this thing is coming in, uh, it's coming in as a starter premium for uh, a start because they are moving around a bunch of the Italian tech tree. So first of all, uh, you have the AB41 and L640, which have been moved to the reserve vehicles. You have the M1341, the M1342, and then also the uh, well, the three, sorry, and then the two. Uh, these have been modified in BR, and then also they're no longer reserves. They've also been given better reloads, though, uh, so they should be slightly better, but obviously higher BR, so slightly worse. And then also the M1139 has been labeled a light tank and moved to the other side of the tech tree. So in order to keep things standard when it comes to the uh, premium vehicles, what they've decided to do is add in a vehicle in the form of the L640, which is, you know, a copy of the reserve one. So it makes more sense to uh, actually grind through the tech tree. This is a pretty standard practice, you know, when it comes to most of the tech trees, uh, you generally get a uh, pretty low ranking uh, BR vehicle, such as Marcolin CR42, which is just this CR42, but the uh, the specific Marcolins one for the Soviets, you know, you've obviously got uh, stuff like Zukovsky's, which has gone up in BR a lot, Tux Gladiator um, as well, then stuff like the Hawk and uh, the uh, Hagiri's A5M4, and also the Key 27 Tachiare. Like, generally, they like having lower BR vehicles as starter vehicles. So, when people are new to the game, you know, they pick up a cheap vehicle. And then also, if it's the first nation that they play, they get the vehicle for free. So, you don't want to up tier or up BR people before they're ready to do so. The L640 is an auto cannon machine, very similar to a lot of the German autocannon uh, vehicles, and also, of course, the Italian ones. Has access to a 20mm Breda Mod 35 cannon. This thing has some pretty decent uh, stats on it. It has really good turret rotation, it has very good gun depression, and also has not a bad firing rate uh, at 6.9, but remember, this is manually loaded. Uh, so if uh, you have a really good crew, then you can get it down to six seconds. But base, it's basically eight seconds, which can be a bit high uh, for this. It is a two-man crew, so if one dies in realistic, you just die. Uh, there's no coming back, unfortunately. And it is powered by a 68 horsepower engine, which may seem small, but this thing is seven tons. So it can still motor around this thing pretty well. The transmission being in the front, it can go at 42 kilometers an hour forward and 6.4 kilometers an hour backwards. So once you're in the fight, you're not going to be able to get out of it. The gunner optics also isn't too bad on the gun uh, as well, which is all right. And the main thing, though, about the gun is its access to certain rounds. So default, you only get APIT and Hefi T, which is not great. But you got to remember, this is a premium vehicle, so you get all the modifications for free if you get it. And it gets access to the PZGR40 um, sets of ammunition. Now, this gives you a HVAP round and the APIT. So you pen 48 millimeters, 3615 across the board with the HVAP. And then also with the APIT, uh, you pen 382915. So this gives you much better killing power, especially at 1.0, where you can just annihilate a lot of things which don't have a ton of armor. Stuff like the A13, for example, the M2A4, even some of the French vehicles like the Lorraine the 37L. This auto cannon can just absolutely massacre them whenever it wants to. Auto cannons in general, I find are the best guns to use at the lower tiers of the game, or at least the reserve tiers of the game, just because of their damage output. And generally, if you miss a shot, well, don't worry, there's one coming straight afterwards you just got to watch out for the clip and if you have enough uh, set into it since it's a premium it's going to be useful for researching rank one and two of the tech tree and uh, generally the rank one and two isn't great for the italians they've improved it a lot though with the addition of the american vehicles like the m3a3 the m24 and then also stuff like the stug the sherman uh, and also the panzer 3 so uh, a lot of the italian vehicles are not great 
in this uh, area of the game. The Semaventes are pretty rough, but the Lancia should be quite fun. The L333 is a quite nice meme, and the M42 Contrario got buffed over the last few years, so it is in a much nicer place. So the L6 can give you a good kickstart to get past a few of the uglier vehicles in the tech tree, giving you a much better time playing the starting areas of Italy. It also has a pretty cool uh, little camouflage on it with what looks like a very derpy animal uh, on the front and also on the back. Uh, so <laughs> it's uh, available pretty much everywhere uh, for the vehicle itself. Uh, it does get all of the standard camos uh, and it does keep the decals no matter which one you go on. Uh, so that should be also noted uh, for the vehicle. Uh, my favorite one is the clown uh, camouflage for the Italians, just because it kind of um, it kind of signifies uh, the funny nature of a lot of the vehicles uh, which are about. But with the OF40 MTCA coming back, with the L6 uh, coming in, they're really putting a ton of effort into this tech tree to try and make it so more people play it. And I'm guessing one of the issues that they've run into, or one of the things that people have told them, is the fact that the start of the tech tree is not as fun as uh, other nations, so therefore that's why they kind of stay away from it. You know, they play the first uh, initial vehicles, and then they just kind of leave it because they struggle with it. And I can kind of see that happening. You know, the, the, the M13s or the M11s are not exactly what you class as good vehicles. They're very average, uh, very bog standard, very surprised to actually see them go up in BR. And uh, the L6 is actually the fun little vehicle along with the AB. Because it's got decent mobility, you know, you can run around, you can pop people with the, um, with the German round, as I said before. And you can just have a kind of decent time. Also, uh, when it comes to history pages events, a vehicle like this is primed to uh, be used in one of those types of events. So even though it's a 250G premium or close to, it might be worth picking up even for veteran players for uh, grinding out stuff such as lower tier vehicles when they add them, and also for history page events if they ever decide to throw uh, something in for the Italians of this tier. But mobility is good, you know, size is tiny, uh, armor is terrible. It's got this wonderful flat part on the front of it, which is a great hit me zone. But everything else about it is completely fine. It's a standard L6, you know, it's got some positives, it's got some negatives to it. It's your bog standard reserve vehicle, and it's just generally nice to see them focus on trying to give Italy a bunch of new things, so people play it more. Because as we found out last year, they are the least played nation. So they're putting in a lot of effort to add new vehicles to it, to also switch it up, to try and entice people to come into it. We'll have to see in the future if that actually works. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. I'd just like to thank Nicholas Richardson, Elove Goat, Pyman675, Winter Scientist, Merciless Reaper, Jerry Prevolt, Mega Dino King, Orange Tail, Teddy, John Ryman, Universe, Ambrosius McClellan, Daniel Stanton, Moxie, B. Young, Uncle Bean, Sem Arslan, Derek R, Bereen, Lafouche, and Samuel Slick for supporting the channel.